Aircraft Emergency Handling Brief, Takeoff Aviation Academy, HTTP colon slash slash takeoff.academy. Acronyms and mnemonics used in Europe, air traffic controllers and pilots, the use of abbreviations is common in the ATC world and it seems logical. Therefore, to suggest a few relevant possibilities, the following abbreviations are for controllers' consideration when dealing with emergencies. RISC. Recognize that there is a problem. Identify the relevant aircraft and arrange for special code squawk. Separate. Give the pilots airspace in which to operate and give them time. Communicate with adjacent sectors, colleagues, supervisors is appropriate. TAS. Time. Give the pilot time to sort out the immediate problem on receipt of first notification that there is a difficulty. Airspace. Give the pilot freedom of the adjacent airspace, get other aircraft out of the way and off the frequency. Silence. The controller should clear the frequency and not raise more questions than are necessary. SSSS. Squawk. Acknowledge the call. Make sure the correct squawk is produced. Silence. Keep the radio telephony, RTF, to as low a level as possible, where possible. Assign a single frequency to the incident. Separate. Provide appropriate and adequate airspace for the pilot to execute any essential maneuvers. Shout. Ask for assistance from the ATC supervisor and or colleagues. QRST. Quiet. Keep the frequency clear. Recognize that there is a problem when the message is received. Separate. Provide airspace. Time. Give the pilot time to work on it. ATIS. Announcing and acknowledging the emergency a problem, getting the pilot to make the appropriate squawk. TAC. Giving the pilot, time, airspace and quiet. Information exchange pilot to controller and controller to controller. Solving the problem as a team controller to controller and controller to pilot. ASSA. Acknowledging the emergency or problem, getting the pilot to make the appropriate squawk. Separate. The traffic and support the pilot in so far as is possible. Silence. Keep the RTF to a minimum. Give the pilot time to think. Advise, air traffic control supervisor and appropriate colleagues on other sectors. ASSIST. Acknowledge the call. Get the squawk. Separate the aircraft from other traffic. Give it room to maneuver. Silence. On the frequency. Provide separate frequency where possible. This prevents unnecessary clutter for the pilots. Inform those who need to know and those who can help. Inform others is appropriate. Support the pilots in any way possible. Start to think of alternative routings and any other relevant information. Time. Give the pilots time to collect their thoughts. Don't harass them for information. Time produces good decisions. A CAS, T CAS. Expect the following. Climb or descent without warning. No emergency squawk. Two or more aircraft involved. Notification from pilot of TCAS climb or TCAS descent. Remember, when a pilot reports a maneuver induced by an RA, the controller shall not attempt to modify the aircraft flight path. The controller shall provide traffic information as appropriate. Pilots are very busy. TCAS 2 altitude data is more accurate than radar data. Note. Once an aircraft departs from its clearance in compliance with ARA, the controller ceases to be responsible for providing separation between that aircraft and any other aircraft affected as a direct consequence of the maneuver induced by the RA. The controller shall resume responsibility for providing separation for all the affected aircraft when 1. The controller acknowledges a report from the flight crew that the aircraft has resumed the current clearance. Or 2. The controller acknowledges a report from the flight crew that the aircraft is resuming the current clearance and issues an alternative clearance which is acknowledged by the flight crew. Following an RA event, or other significant TCAS event, pilots and controllers should complete an air traffic incident report. Bird strike. May result in. Broken windshield and or canopy. Engine failure, multi-engine. Engine failure, single engine. Hydraulic problems. 
Precautionary approach. Handling difficulties. Electrical problems. Gear problems. Expect. Abandoned takeoff. Immediate return to aerodrome. Landing next suitable aerodrome. Restricted visibility. Hydraulic problems. Remember. Is pilot able to control aircraft? Allow long final if requested. Check runway, if bird strike after takeoff. If needed, inform pilot about. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Bomb warning. Aircraft may stop climb. Request for immediate level re-clearance. Landing next suitable aerodrome. Aircraft early in landing configuration. Runway in use, length, surface, elevation, ILS and navigational frequencies. Remember. Clear airspace in the immediate vicinity. Ask for flying time needed. Evacuation after landing. Additional stairs required. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear. Arrange parking away from buildings, other aircraft. If needed, inform pilot about. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Brake problems. Expect. Pilots request longest runway. Overrunning runway threshold at far end. Burst tire. Aircraft may swerve off runway. Runway blocked after landing. Remember. Inform pilot about runway length condition. Keep safety strip clear. Towing equipment on standby as appropriate. Technical staff required. Communication failure. Radio communication failure. ICAO DOC 7030 European region This might be different from other ICAO regions. VMC, Squawk 7600, continue in VMC. Land at nearest suitable aerodrome. Report arrival by the most expeditious means to the appropriate ATS unit. IMC, Squawk 7600, maintain last assigned speed and level for 7 minutes or minimum flight altitude, if the minimum flight altitude is higher than the last assigned level. The 7 minute period commences. No compulsory reporting points, or, position reports omitted. At the time the last assigned level or, minimum flight altitude is reached, or at the time of Squawk 7600, whichever is later, or, compulsory reporting points and position reports not omitted. At the time the last assigned level or minimum flight altitude is reached, or, at the previously reported pilot estimate for the compulsory reporting point, or, at the time of a failed report over a compulsory reporting point, whichever is later. Thereafter, comply with the filed flight plan. If being radar vectored or proceeding offset according to our NAV without a specified limit, proceed in the most direct manner possible to rejoin the current flight plan no later than the next significant point, taking into consideration the applicable minimum flight altitude. The aircraft will proceed to the designated navigational aid serving the destination aerodrome and hold until commencement of descent. Commence descent at, or as close as possible to, the EAT last received and acknowledged, or if no EAT received and acknowledged, commence descent at, or as close as possible to, the ETA resulting from the current flight plan. Complete a normal instrument approach procedure is specified for the designated navigation aid. Land, if possible, within 30 minutes after the ETA specified, or within 30 minutes of the last acknowledged expected approach time, whichever is later. Remember, failure of transmitter or receiver only. Possible relay by other stations. Electrical problems, loss of all generators, alternators, Battery power only power supply reduced to emergency level. Expect. High stress level in the cockpit. Navigation equipment, failure, including compass. Transponder switched off, save energy. Communication failure. Limited redbacks. Level changes to maintain VMC. Manual gear extension. Possible engine failure. Remember. Inform landing aerodrome. If needed, inform pilot about. Next suitable aerodromes. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Suitable vectors and position information. Save energy. Avoid IMC. 
Emergency descent. Engine failure. May result in. Abandoned takeoff. Pressurization problems. Fuel dumping. Precautionary approach. Expect. Heavy workload in the cockpit. Deviation from SID. Intermediate level off. Descent. Course deviation. Pressurization problems. Remember. Inform landing aerodrome. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear. Offer pilot extended final. Towing equipment on standby as appropriate. In case of forced landing, record last known position and time. If needed, inform pilot about. Next suitable aerodrome. Alternate aerodrome details as soon as possible. Weather information of landing aerodrome. Engine on fire or APU on fire. May result in. Abandoned takeoff. Engine failure, multi-engine. Engine failure, single engine. Smoke or fire in the cockpit. Emergency landing. Expect. Heavy workload in cockpit. Engine shutdown, fire extinguishing. Aircraft on the ground. Hot brakes. Passenger evacuation. Runway blocked. Aircraft in the air. Pressurization problems. Aircraft losing altitude. Landing next suitable aerodrome. Possible diversionary or forced landing, single engine aircraft. Remember. Ask if dangerous goods on board. Ask for number of persons on board, POB. Inform landing aerodrome. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear. In case of diversionary or forced landing, record last known position and time. If needed, inform pilot about. Next suitable aerodrome. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Weather information of landing aerodrome. Observed fire and or smoke. Fuel problems. Critical fuel status may result in engine failure, multi-engine. Engine failure, single engine. Diversionary or forced landing. Expect. Mayday low on fuel emergency with imminent danger to aircraft. Pan pan minimum fuel aircraft needs priority handling. Improper use of phraseology verify actual fuel status, low on, minimum, or minimum diversion fuel. Remember, keep aircraft high, save fuel. Avoid ATC caused go around. Inform landing aerodrome. Ask if dangerous goods on board. Ask for number of persons on board, POB. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear. Towing equipment on standby is appropriate. If needed, inform pilot about. Next suitable aerodrome. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Weather information at landing aerodrome. Gear problems unsafe indication, no gear may result in. Need for external advice, engineering. Expect. Go around, low pass of tower for gear inspection by specialist engineering personnel, manual gear extension. Remember. Prepare for low pass for visual inspection. Weight reduction necessary. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear, towing equipment on standby as appropriate. If needed, inform pilot about. Aircraft configuration, having consulted with company if appropriate. Hydraulic problems. Complete or partial failure of flight controls, gear extension, brakes, flaps, nosewheel steering may result in fuel dumping. Gear problems. Brake problems. Relatively high speed. Approach and landing. Expect limited maneuverability. Limited flap setting. Limited bank angle, manual gear extension, no retraction possible. Holding pattern for necessary checks. Extended final. Higher approach speed on final, up to 220 knots indicated airspeed on flapless approach. Limited braking capability. Possible overrun. Runway blocked on landing. Remember. Increase vertical and lateral separation. Ask if dangerous goods on board. 
Ask for number of persons on board, POB. Avoid ATC caused go around. Clear runway according to local instructions. Keep safety strip clear. Towing equipment on standby as appropriate. If needed, inform pilot about next suitable aerodrome. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Weather information of landing aerodrome. Fire or smoke from brakes. Icing. Expect. Immediate change of level and or heading. Limitation in rate of climb, descent. Higher speed. Remember, avoid holding. Enable continuous climb after departure. Keep safety strip clear. AI rep to other aircraft, other units and MET. If needed, inform pilot about. Check anti-icing and de-icing systems. Pitot heating. Stall warner heating. Carburetor heating. Propeller heating, de-icing. Wing anti-ice, de-ice. Alternate air supply. Windshield heating. Descent with higher power setting to increase bleed air supply. Higher approach, landing speed due to increase of stalling speed. Pressurization problems. May result in. Emergency descent. Expect. Aircraft will stop climb. Request for immediate descent. Emergency descent without warning. No emergency squawk. Possible turn off track. Poor RTF because of oxygen mask. Injuries to passengers or crew. Remember, clear airspace directly beneath the aircraft. Smoke OR fire in the cockpit or cabin. Expect. High stress level in the cockpit. Shortest high-speed vector to land, nearest suitable aerodrome. Poor RTF, oxygen mask, or loss of RTF. Passenger evacuation. Runway blocked. Remember. Ask if dangerous goods on board. Ask for number of persons on board, POB. Inform landing aerodrome. Offer out of wind landing if more expeditious. Clear runway according to local instructions, keep safety strip clear. Approach, runway lighting system 100%. If needed, inform pilot about. Track miles to touchdown of next suitable aerodrome. Availability of automatic approach low visibility procedure. Aerodrome details as soon as possible. Weather information of landing aerodrome. Unlawful interference. Expect. Squawk 7500. Course. Level deviations. No or unusual replies to RTF communication. No compliance with given instructions. Remember. Do not initiate any further RTF referring to the hijacking unless confirmed by the pilot. Comply with pilot's requests as far as possible. Transmit pertinent information without expecting a reply. Monitor all flight maneuvers, give room for maneuver. Collect any necessary information e.g. destination aerodrome, weather situation at destination, routing, etc. If needed, inform pilot about. Confirm squawk. No reply here shall not be taken as an indication that the squawk was set by mistake. Any information requested. Takeoff media production for Takeoff Aviation Academy Acknowledgement, Eurocontrol, ICAO.